Hey guys, it's Lisa with LA Savings and today I have a recipe for a crusty bread that you make inside of a Dutch oven. I actually saw this recipe about a year ago and as soon as I saw it, I really wanted a Dutch oven. I didn't have one. I asked for it for Christmas and Sean got it for me and I have to say I love this color too. Um, and I still haven't made the recipe yet. I've made a lot of soups in this and they're really, really good, but I haven't tried the bread. So today we're gonna try the bread. It seems like it's really, really easy. It is time consuming, but it seems simple enough. And I have high hopes for the bread. I am really hoping it comes out good, uh, especially since it's what made me buy the pot to begin with. All right, so what you need. We have three cups of flour, a cup and a half of water, a half a teaspoon of yeast, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. That's it. And I know usually when you make bread, you do put the yeast in the water for a while first. This recipe does not say to do that. It says just mix everything together and then let it sit. You are letting it sit for 12 to 18 hours um, on a counter, which seems like a really long time. Um, so that's why I'm doing it now. It's about three o'clock, so it's gonna sit overnight. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna bake it. So the first part is to just add everything together. So I'm gonna add the yeast and the salt and the water and then just mix it all until it's incorporated together. And I say just to kind of use a spatula and mix it all in. All the ingredients have been mixed together. It is still kind of sticky, um, but everything's been mixed together and now it's gonna be covered and it's gonna sit, they do say 12 to 18 hours. Mine's probably gonna be closer to 18 hours, but um, I will film it again, let you see how it rises before I actually start the baking process. The dough sat on the counter for 18 hours. It did rise. You can kind of see there's a little bit of bubbles on top. It's still pretty sticky. Um, and it has a really strong smell. You can really smell like the yeast in it. And at this point, you just wanna take it out of the bowl and put it on top of a floured piece of parchment paper. Kind of just roll it up and let it rise again. So I'm just gonna to try to get it out of here. I know it's kind of sticky, but. And then, kind of just get a little bit of flour on it. It should still be sticky, but see how I can still form it into a ball. It's not stuck on my hands. So you wanna just leave it on the floured parchment paper, kind of just cover it up and even put a towel over it and let it rise for about an hour and a half. I decided to place the dough into a bowl instead. So I have the, the parchment paper, but I just placed it in here. I just felt like the counter was kind of cold and I just thought it would rise better in here. I also kind of feel like it keeps more of a round shape this way. So it's been about an hour and it still has about another half an hour to go. But at this point, you wanna place your pot, okay, the cast iron pot in the oven at 450 degrees. So you're gonna heat the oven as well as the Dutch oven to 450 degrees before the dough goes inside of it. Okay, I just took this out of the oven. It is 450 degrees, it's really, really hot, but we are gonna place the dough right inside here. And see how it goes. You're just supposed to flip it right in. Put the lid on and it goes back in the oven for a half an hour with the lid on. And then you remove the lid and cook it for about another 15 minutes or so until it's nice and golden brown. It's been 30 minutes and I just removed the lid and it's gonna bake for another 15 minutes or so. I just took it out of the oven. It looks and smells amazing. I hope it tastes as good as it looks, but we're gonna let it cool for about 20 minutes or so before we cut into it. The bread has cooled. I did slice into it. It is amazing. It is really, really good. The outside is really crusty and the inside is really, really soft. So I love crusty bread. So the outside definitely has a nice hard crust to it, but the inside is very soft. Um, and of course, we're gonna have Sean taste some right now while it's still hot. I'm gonna put a little butter on it and he's gonna give us his opinion. Okay, so I buttered the bread and Sean's gonna take a bite and see what you think. <laughs> mm. 
Wow. <laughs> Looked like you couldn't bite through it. This is good bread. Yeah, like we just said, this outside right here is really crusty. So it's got that crunch to it and the inside is super soft. The inside is really soft and we could hear the crunch when you bit into it, mm -hmm. so. This is really good. It is really good. I'm really happy about that because I've been looking it took at that. 18 hours. It took a long time, <laughs> and I'd been watching that recipe for a really long time, and I've been meaning to make it. Um, and I'm glad I did. And I think I'm going to try it now with other things. I was reading reviews and things online, and they had suggested putting cheese in it, and you can do, you know, cinnamon raisin or cranberry. So I'm definitely going to try some of the others out and see how it comes out. But it is really a good bread. Mm-hmm. Do you want to say anything else? Yeah, watch the blooper reel. Hey, it's Lisa with LA Savings, and today I have a recipe for a crusty bread. And I have to say that as soon as I saw this recipe, I saw it all over Pinterest probably a year ago. And as soon as I saw it, I needed the cast iron pot, the Dutch oven. Um, so I have high hopes for this bread. This is the bread that really made me buy this. Oops, <laughs> I didn't buy it, you bought it. That's right, YouTube, she did not buy it. <laughs> okay, wait, I'll do it again. Her loving boyfriend bought it for her. <laughs> okay, wait, let me just do it again, stop it. 